A bombshell draft opinion indicating the Supreme Court may strike down the landmark Roe versus Wade has reignited the debate surrounding abortion. A decision is expected by the end of summer on whether abortions are a constitutional right. And we can't be more clear on this. This is just a first draft. This is not a final decision. The thought of Roe v. Wade is getting over or getting overturned has people from both sides pro-life and pro-choice discussing what this could mean. WFMY News 2's Jenna Krasina met a woman who says she had to make a difficult decision while pregnant in order to save her own life. While it wasn't an easy decision, she says it was one she's glad she had the option to make. That is an agonizing decision to be able to have to make. Myra Doyle, who was already a mother, faced a difficult decision. I was pregnant and we didn't know I was pregnant. I was doing fertility. While Doyle didn't know she was pregnant, she was in pain for several weeks. She says she knew something wasn't right. I couldn't get comfortable sitting. Um, everything felt like a sharp pain was shooting up from my innards all the way up, just shooting straight up. When she finally went to the doctor, she learned she was pregnant, but there were complications. They got me in, started to do the ultrasound, the vaginal, and they couldn't see anything. Um, there was too much fluid. That fluid was blood. My right tube had ruptured. I had an ectopic, live ectopic in my tube, my right tube. Um, he found, he found her. Um, her heart, little heart was just beating, you know, but there was, that was it. That's when she says she faced a choice that ultimately would decide her fate. He was like, Mara, um, you're pregnant, but you're dying. And I'm like, okay, he said, you have an ectopic pregnancy. It has ruptured your tube and you are bleeding internally. Doyle says it wasn't an easy decision, but she chose to end the pregnancy. I, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have that option. My second child, my youngest, would not be alive. I would have been dead. Doyle is a mother of two and now a grandmother. She says she wanted to share her story because she is concerned if Roe versus Wade is to be overturned, what would happen? At this time, no decision has been made. This is just a draft and won't be finalized until this summer.